warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and now we are gonna do some solutions for question 1 so the, the question is each of the following statement is true so the first statement is if Nur Fatiha is not the highest paid then Aisha is right and the second statement is if Aisha is not the lowest paid then Afla has the highest salary so it was told that both of the statement is true so the question is determine the truth value of each of the following statement and explain clearly your reasoning so a the first statement is nor fatiha has the high salary b apla has the high salary and c aisha has the lowest pay so in this case we must change this statement to the primitive statement like this B. Nur Fatiha has the highest salary. Q. Hafla, Hafla has the highest salary. And R. Aisha has the lowest salary. And then we change. And now we change this statement to the co compound statement like this. As the first statement, we change to the not B equal to R. It applies to R equal to 1 true and second statement not r implies to q equal to 1 that is true statement so if we want to know uh, if, if we want to know the true value of this statement we must make the true table so the true table is like this so now we are going to make true table so if b is false Q also false and R also false so not P is truth not R is truth and then not P equal in place to R is false and not R in place to Q also not also not true and now if P is false Q is false and R is truth not B is uh, true, not R is 0, false, and so not B uh, implies to R is true, and also not R implies to Q is true. Now, if B is false, Q is true and R is false. So not B is true and not R also true. So for this statement, not B implies to R is false and not R implies to Q is true. Next, if P is false, Q is true and R is also true. So not B is true, not R is false. So for the statement not B implies to R is equal to true and not R implies to Q is also true. We make B true, Q false and R also false, not B is false and not R is true. So for statement not B implies to R is equal to true and not R implies to Q is false. Next, if P uh, is true and Q is false and R is true, so not P is false, not R is false. So for the statement not P in place to R is true, 
and not R implies to Q is also true. So for the next value is if R if P uh, is true and Q is also true, but R is false. So not P is false and not R is true. So not P implies to R is true. Not R implies to Q is also true. And, and for the last, if all of this statement is true, and not P is false, not R is also false. So for this for statement, not P implies to R is true, and not R implies to Q is true find where first statement and the second statement is true that first statement have the true value of 1 so in this two table we find this so these are the statement where both of them is true so now we are going to choose where we are going to choose the suitable value for P, Q, and R. So now we are going to choose this, where every P, Q, R is true, then equal to one. So now P to one, Q equal to one, and R equal to one. So every statement is true. So as we know. B that equal that for the statement Nor Fatia had the highest salary that equal to 1 so it's true and Q for statement Afla has the highest salary equal to 1 it's true and finally R could uh, for the statement Aisha has the lowest salary that equal to 1 it's also true so it's so these are the answers. Uh, let's go to the next question. For question number 2A, he asked to use the true table to determine whether Q implies R or Q, logically implies to R or Q. So the value for P is 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. And the value for Q is 0. 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. and the value for r is 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. so r or q it means it, uh, we must to see at the value for r and q 0 0 should be 0 0 1 0 or 1 have to be 1 and same goes to this one 1 1 0 1 1, 1. Q implies R or Q. So, we have to see these two values. Um, Q implies to R, Q. 1. 0, 1, 1. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. 0, 0. 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and same. Q implies to R or Q and logically implies to R or Q so um, we have to see this value and this value 0, 1, 1 so all of the value for Q implies to R or Q and logically implies to R or Q again is all the value is 1 so since the Q implies to R or Q Logically is no no. Uh, since Q or Q implies to R or Q is tautology, so Q implies to R or Q is logically implies to R or Q. Now I will show about question two, which is by using the truth table, show that the logical equivalence for P implies to Q and P implies to R, which is equivalent to P implies to Q and R, is a tautology. 
So the first step we need to do is we need to put a value in P, Q and R which is the value for P is 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 and 1 and next is uh, the value for Q which is 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0 and 1, 1 and last is for value for R which is 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0 and 1 and the next thing we need to do is we need to find the value for P implies to Q which is we need to use the value from P and Q when 0, 0 it will become to 1 and same for the next is 1 and 0, 1 uh, which is also 1 and 0, 1, 1 and when 1 equal to when 1 implies to 0 it will become to 0 and 0 1 and 1 next is P implies to R we need to use from the value P and R uh, 0, 0 will become to 1 and 0, 1 will become 1 0, 0 will become 1 and 0, 1 will become 1 also and next is 1, 0 it will become to 0 1, 1 it will become to 1 1, 0 it will become to 0 and 1, 1 will become to 1 and next is Q and R we need to use from the value from Q and R when 0 0 and 0 it will become 0 0 and 1 also become to 0 1 and 0 will become 0 also 1 and 1 will become 1 0 and 0 will become to 0 0 1 also become to 0 1 and 0 also become to 0 and 1 to 1 will become to 1 the next is we need to find uh, P implies to Q and P implies to R which is we need to use from the value that we have find which is P implies to Q and P implies to R so we need to use to find 1 and 1 will become 1 so 1 and 1 will become 1 1 1 and next is 0 0 0 it becomes 0 0 1 it becomes 0 so 1 0 it becomes 0 and 1 1 it becomes 1 next is P implies to Q and R we need to use the value from P and the value from Q and R so 0 0 will come to 1 0 0 so we come 1 1 1 0 0 0 and 1 and last is we need to find P implies to Q and P implies to R which is equivalent equivalence to P implies to Q and R so the value is 1 1 1 1 So, which is that mean uh, all is it, all in this this are true. So, the P implies to Q and P implies to R are equivalent to P implies to Q and R, which is it is a tautology. Um, the question is consider the argument P or Q implies to R and S. R implies to T and not T. By using the rules of inference, find the conclusion of this argument. So, first thing we need to do is um, R implies to T is the premise. It's the premise. And then, not T is the premise. By using number 1 and number 2, we got not R, 1 and 2. By using the modus tollens. And then number 4 is not R or not S is number 3 and use the rules, rules of this junctive. Application. Number five is not R and S 
is number four and using the D. Morgan's law. And then number six is P or Q implies to R and S is the babies. And number seven is not P or Q. Number five and six by using the modus modus tollens. And number eight is not P or Q. This is the number seven and D Morgan law. So the answer for the conclusion is not P and not Q.